part six of the Donna Summer series. Man, watch this. I am so impressed with our queen's accolades that I am elated to discuss them. They're impressive. Look, by the time she was 29, she was a millionaire. And that was just off one song. Love to love your baby. She had already had seven albums by 1975. 1979, I apologize. This is this is one I like the most. She won the Grammy Award for the best female rock vocals for her song Hot Stuff. That has never been done before by any African American, let alone male or female. Nobody up to date has done. Then Rolling Stone ranks that song the 104th best song of all time. By the way, did I mention that her and Bobby Brown were distant cousins? That's my dude right there. That's my boy. Now, this is my favorite accomplishment by her. If you don't know who that is, that is Dick Clark, and he hosted a show called American Bandstand. That was the other version of Soul Train. In the 40-year history of his show nobody but him hosted his show except the queen and it's been like that ever since it's never been done she's special man she's spe she carried these pop charts all through the 70s and part of the mid 80s so let's look at some of these damn lies y'all told on my queen. So out of the kindness of her heart, she goes and sat down with a magazine in New York, the New York Magazine. And see, this is how these no good music labels trick you. They done tried to get her to spin it off. They done spent it off and said that she said that AIDS at the time was a punishment for homosexual people. She didn't say that. And why would she say that when the homosexual community was her fan base? She said she didn't even know what it was. She said it was she thought it was like herpes or something. It got me mad now, bro, because this is about to get deep. I need y'all to share and comment and like like share and comment. 